Hi everybody, Jeremy here. I host the Climate Now programme on Euronews. We just had a really interesting discussion about climate change entrepreneurship, starting with some encouraging news from Bertrand Picard. If we consider climate change to get worse and worse every year, it's clear that the business dealing with data, dealing with mitigation of climate change, adaptation, resilience will grow. Will grow. Yeah, that's Bertrand Picard, the Swiss adventurer who flew a solar-powered aircraft around the world and is now championing clean tech startups. Also on our panel, wind energy guru Gil Lithcano, Earth observation specialist Laia Romero, plus Stain Vermoot, head of user engagement at Copernicus. And he has some good news for you. There are lots of skills profiles needed in climate entrepreneurship. It's not only about the IT specialist or the engineer, or the, the one with an MBA, you also need somebody who is able to, to deal with graphics. So there's a lot of disciplines. It is a relatively new sector though, so you often have to explain how useful climate data can be. Is, you is spend a lot of time explaining that I come from the Earth observation sector. Um, I'm a physical oceanographer. I've, I've, been, I've been explaining technology uh, to companies my, and administrations my whole life. And so now at least, um, with the Green Deal, it's very clear that this is the way forward. What's more, if you want to stay in the game, green is the way you've got to go. The objective is that uh, sustainable companies are the ones that are going to survive. <laughs> Maybe it's too dramatic, but it, they are they're the ones that are going to go through this, this, uh, this change. We should move away from the bad ones and the good ones. So the, the oil companies, insurance companies, the banks, that's all the, the bad ones. And then you have the young, dynamic people who fight on the street, and these are the good ones. No, we're all part of society. and We all need to work hand in hand to, to, to make the transition possible. I wanted to ask Bertrand a question that he asked Bill Gates on Twitter, and I'm going to have to translate this live from French because you asked him in French. Does Bill Gates speak French? We don't know. There are lots of good solutions to protect the environment, um, and which could also be profitable. Why is there so much resistance in industry and the economy to implement them, those changes? What do you think, Bertrand? What do you think the resistance is? Yeah, the pity is that Bill Gates, I don't think, really understood the question. And he said, well, it has to be profitable. If it's costly, nobody will take it. But it was not the question. The question is that today solutions are profitable. And nevertheless, you have a lot of companies who are resisting to implement them. And I don't know which other answers could be. What I understand is that a lot of companies hate to change. Uh, they have a short-term view. Uh, the CEO has stock options uh, for uh, next year or the year after. So he wants to maximize the profit on the very short term, not invest too much, and keep the system rolling, the old system run, running, as long as possible. And this is something that will be very, very detrimental to, to the world and to the population and to climate change and environment in general. Uh, we need people who understand that the soonest they change the system, the best it will be. And this is really what I'm advocating. You can hear more insight and profound thoughts from Bertrand Picard and the other panelists by clicking on the full length video and head over to euronews.com slash climate now where you can see the latest data from Copernicus and find out what's really happening to our planet. Mm -hmm.